Welcome back. You are watching Global Eye. The Republicans have taken control of the House of Representatives, ending two years of the Democrats controlling both houses of the Congress. Republicans have secured 218 seats needed for a majority, but the winning margin is razor thin. Democrats have performed better than expected, but when the Congress convenes in January, Republicans have enough numbers to stall President Biden's legislative agenda. Donald Trump has formally entered the 2024 presidential race, announcing his candidature. The 76-year-old former president hit out at Joe Biden, saying the last two years have been a time of pain, hardship, anxiety and despair for Americans. So how will this midterm election impact U.S. politics and what are the cues for the 2024 election? We are joined by Joe Walsh, former Republican presidential candidate in 2020 and also a talk show host and political columnist. Thank you very much, Mr. Walsh, for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Let me begin by asking you, Republicans have managed to take control of the House of Representatives, but they have underperformed. What could be some of the factors, some of the reasons for their underperformance? A, a big factor for that was Trump. Uh, Trump made himself a big story in these midterms. Trump is still popular in the Republican Party, but most Americans can't stand him. The other big factor was the abortion issue. It brought a lot of people out to vote. Democrats defied history in a midterm. That's a really big deal. Uh, also to ask you, how does this really complicate things for the Republicans? The fact that Donald Trump has gone ahead, announced his candidate chair, we believe that the party is severely divided over this issue. Look, I, it's, uh, it, it's, I know it's hard for the rest of the world to understand because Donald Trump is so unfit, but he's the leader still of the Republican Party. He announced this past week, kind of a weird time to announce that he's running for re-election, but most Republican voters are still with him. Mm. He's the king of the Republican Hill until another Republican can knock him off of that hill. Mm. Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans in Congress, they know that, mm. so they still have to bow to Trump. Right. So you believe that he could still be the official candidate and may even pull off the 2024 election? Oh, I, look, I, I, uh, right now, Donald Trump is the clear favorite to be the Republican Party nominee in 2024. Most of the Republican Party is still with him. Could he become president again? Sure, he could. Mm. That's a scary thing to say, and it should scare the world. It certainly scares most Americans. But yes, he has a chance to become president again if he's the nominee. Right. Uh if I were to ask you, and probably because of these problems, Republicans have not performed as well in this election, what are some of the key factors that are going to play out? If we were to ask you for some of the cues for 2024 from this midterm election, what would they be for Democrats and the Republicans? Unfortunately, because the Republicans won the House, uh, nothing will get done these next two years. Republicans have made very clear that they're not interested in policy. Uh, all they want to do is th they want revenge. They want revenge for how they believe the Democrats treated Trump. So the Republicans in the House are going to investigate Hunter Biden. They're going to investigate Joe Biden. They're going to investigate, 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 and probably try to impeach some Democrats. They're going to be focused on this. Kevin McCarthy will be the speaker. But people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, some of the crazier Republicans, are really going to be running the show. Right. Uh, so you're clear that at this point, the strongest candidate from the Republican camp is Donald Trump. If I were to ask you about the Democrats right now, President Biden has said that he has an intention to run again for 2024 presidential election. Is he the strongest candidate right now in the Democrat camp? Or you feel that there are other contenders we need to watch out for very closely? You know, it's a pretty sad thing that this great country might be looking at a Biden-Trump rematch. That's pretty pathetic when you think about it. Uh, B Biden, I'll, I'm not sure Biden's going to run. Biden's a strong candidate against Trump, and Biden believes only he can beat Trump. If not Biden, 
Uh, boy, I'll tell you what, the Democrats are going to have a hard time finding a candidate who could beat Trump. I think they'd look toward a governor, like maybe the governor of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer, or the governor of California, uh, Newsom. Uh, it's going to have to be a new face, um, but that's going to be really difficult to do. Hmm. What about Kamala Harris? I, I didn't mean to overlook Kamala Harris. Yes, if Biden doesn't run, Kamala Harris would certainly be in the discussion. Um, she's popular among Democrats. I don't think she's very popular among most of the country right now. She'd have to show Americans that she's capable of being president, and she hasn't done that so far. And, and finally, 2020 was an ugly election. What kind of a political period are we entering now? If you thought 2020 was an ugly election, this next election in America, 24, is going to be the ugliest we've seen in a long, long time. America is going through a real ugly period. Uh, we're very divided. Uh, a lot of people don't know if America will stay together. I don't know if America will stay together. So the rest of the world just needs to know that this next election is going to be worse. But I think we're in for a long period of this. Thank you once again, uh, Mr. Walsh, for joining us here on CNBC TV 18 Global Eye, giving us your view on the midterm elections and its impact on American politics. Thank you. All right. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Global Eye. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.